Hi, this is Grace from Wexford, Ireland, and you are watching the Omar oh Gosh. Why don't you tell your dad happy birthday? I did on at midnight. At midnight. Too. At midnight. Oh, That's not. That doesn't count. Did you tell him today? Happy birthday. <laughs> See, she didn't tell you. Look who's here. This is your realtor, guys. If you, if you need to find yourself a haunted house in Florida, he hooked us up with a couple uh, haunted locations. What happened to the one house in Ebor? Bro, we're literally like. You still working on it? Yeah, we're really? gonna get everything like cleared up so that way we can actually make it pretty, but you know how that is, man. Yeah, I wanna go. I wanna go back, see what you guys are doing. We should yeah. be starting this month. Yeah? yeah? So you still haven't done anything because all the permits and stuff? Yeah, bro. Some oh, crazy man. stuff was just everything was a fight. Everything yeah. Was a fight. Hey, big shout out to this guy though for, for setting this up. My best friend. What up? Yeah, Happy man. To our boy over here. Happy birthday! Yeah. So I was just petting their dog, and then she tells me this he just used the bathroom and he laid in it. This like, one. Oh, he used the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, thank God. He doesn't use the bathroom in his cage. Oh, okay. This is just this one. Oh, hi. You need some love too. You need some love too. Milo, oh, whoa. Milo. Stop it. Sit. Milo's a puppy. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen a beagle that fat. Look at him. How many hot dogs have you fed him? None. Dang. Hey. You been having a lot of Spanish food, huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, guess what I just stepped on? Yeah. So, Carlos' wife just told me don't bring him back until, you know, he's happy. Yeah, I mean, he's happy already because... You know, we're here. <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be a fun day. We're going to go eat some Cuban sandwiches. And we're going to go magnet fishing. Something that I haven't done in a really long time. It's like a 300-pound weighted magnet. Well, not that it's 300 pounds. But it holds up to 300 pounds. And we're going to go to the hood. See if we can find, like, some guns. Like, I mean, murder weapons have been dropped off of this bridge. It's going to be a fun video. And it's good to see you, by the way. Go subscribe to Carlos, okay? That'd be a great birthday yeah, present. You won't be disappointed. Because all I got for him today was me. Oh, and, and a Cuban sandwich. I'm paying. I'm paying for breakfast. <laughs> love you, bro. I love you too, man. Look at the water, Carlos. What's up? Look, Look at you the can water see from over here. It's so pretty. Oh, we're gonna oh, we can't see it anymore. The place we're going to is called West Tampa Sandwich Shop. If you're ever in Tampa, check it out. It was right after lunchtime, and the crowd was dying down at the West Tampa Sandwich Shop and Restaurant. That's when a man walked up to owner Willie Barrio Nuevo. He said, well, I am from Secret Service, uh, President of the United States, coming right now in 15 minutes over here. He said, what? <laughs> no, I can't believe it. Moments later, the commander-in-chief makes his way inside, greeting and taking pictures with customers and chatting it up with Willie. I've been going to this place since I was a little kid. They have the best sandwiches ever. But being that they're the best, they're going to be very, very busy. So we had a call ahead of time. Yep. Carlos kind of grew up in this area. Yeah, I grew up right in this area. Riding, I ride my bikes all the time. I used to, I used to actually ride from West Tampa to the entire country, you know that, right? So instead of hearing roosters in the morning, you used to hear gunshots. <laughs> uh, not anymore. Now you hear roosters. Oh, so it's yeah, better now? Yeah, they got roosters and people have it in their houses and stuff like that. Right? They got roosters in yeah, their houses? Yeah, it's all developing. It's all changing now. Actually, you know, in a couple of years, it's not going to be called West Tampa anymore. It's going to be called Midtown. No way. Yes. Midtown. Midtown. They're over here revamping West Tampa. Midtown. Yeah. Midtown, yep. I don't like that. I, I don't either, but hey, times change, man. They're revamping Tampa. That's like me saying I'm not, I'm not going to gonna call you Carlos anymore. Yeah. I'm going to call you Pendejo. Why are you going to call me Pendejo? Pendejo. <laughs> don't say that word, by the way. It's not a word, right word. To say right now. <laughs> in the Spanish culture, that doesn't really affect us. 
No, no. That's like a joke. Let me know in the comments if you know what that means. Hopefully there's no bad man hole <laughs> in my <laughs> sandwich. In <your> sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I used to come here every day after school, middle school, get a Cuban sandwich and they press it. See over there? Oh, it's so good. Get that Cuban bread nice and toasty. Where's uh, Coco Rico? No Coco Rico. Oh, right there. Oh, coconut soda right there is so good. I just couldn't help myself. You want a bite? Mm, this is teamwork. I'm really hungry though. I don't think I'm gonna share very much. I already ate mine. You had the whole thing? No, I ate half. <laughs> I'm still working on the half. I was hungry. This is the Hillsborough River in Tampa, Florida. Carlos is saying it's all changed. I mean, as a kid, this was like a really bad neighborhood. But you can see like all the houses are really nice. I mean, these all, all these houses on the river have always been pretty nice, especially across the way. You know, like there's beautiful homes over there and then you can cross that bridge and be like in the complete hood. Like they've found bodies in this river before. This is the perfect time to do some magnet fishing right now at low tide. Well, that's the bridge right there. A lot of people go fishing off that bridge. That's Columbus Bridge, right? Yeah, Columbus Bridge. But right behind me is government housing, AKA the projects. Somewhat. Kind of. And then a little bit further that way too. Yep. Yeah, they still got the- It used to be- uh, Park. Yeah, it used to be really bad, yeah. yeah. It's it's gotten nicer. Yeah. yeah. Tampa's come up a lot, especially this area. But I don't know, what do you think you're gonna find with your magnet? Let's look at your magnet. Looks like a lock. Like a locker? Yeah, like kinda? a locker. Yeah. Combination lock. Right. Carlos isn't wearing his nipple <laughs> rings today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing my Prince Albert. That's, see? There it is right there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm strapped. So that's my gun right there. See, it's it's hooked. This will pick up a gun out of the water for sure. It wants to, it wants to take it off. That's a really strong magnet. Really strong. All right, I'm gonna toss it out. Make sure I don't knock somebody out. <laughs> for real. I had to hold on to it because that was. <laughs> Carlos, you know that wasn't the point. <laughs> Dang, he almost let it go. Oh my goodness. I thought it was longer. Yeah. Was longer That's what she said. <laughs> Orlando's wearing sandals and, and socks on right now. <laughs> it's like super muddy. I stepped on a turd earlier, so. I'm not gonna complain. I'll tell you what though, I'd rather step on a turd with these shoes than yeah. what he has on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you ever stepped on a turd like with sandals on? Uh -oh. I have. It's not fun. <laughs> It is really low tide. Like this is usually underwater right here. So Carlos decided to get, I don't know, a five foot rope. That's longer than that. Whoa. Thinking. No, look at the footprints. Oh, it's like real footprints. Yeah, barefoot. Barefoot. Someone was walking barefoot. I said we just go right under the bridge over there. We thought about going up above, like on the bridge, but it's it's not even gonna hit the bottom at all. I don't know, I think this rope's like maybe 15 yeah, feet. Yeah, uh, we need something a little it longer. Said, it says 35, I thought it would be fine. 35? Hey, aren't there alligators in this water? This um, yeah. But I think they'll, they'll leave us alone. They will just, you know, if we see one, they'll Hillsborough River, they have so many alligators in here. Yeah, but they up more up river than anything. They're really? not really down this way. This is more brackish water anyways. Remember, the port, the port's right over there. I think you should just uh, walk out here a little bit. Uh, what, water? Yeah. I thought Marco walked on water. Nah. Uh, he, he, he did go to see the Chris Angel show, so he might got to pick up some, uh, some, some trips. <laughs> yeah. I keep thinking there's an alligator in the water. Like, I see scales over there. Yeah. What if it is? I don't know, right? Like, right there, right in front of you. <laughs> Yo, uh, my friend Mo has one of those magnets, but a little bit bigger one. Oh, look at the copter. Someone's flying their drone today. Hey, where'd you get that? I don't think no, they're not gonna hear you. He said Home Depot. Home Depot. <laughs> Bro, that's cool. That's where we need to throw the magnet over there where all the boats are. Bro, let's go rent one. I bet you they did rent that. You think? Yeah, in downtown. Yeah, downtown Tampa is right over there. You can actually see it, see? Cool. 
It's not a fail, bro. It's not a fail. It's an experience. Not a fail. I like that. It's not a failure. It's an experience. So I had this idea. I've had it for a long time, but I just haven't been able to do it yet. I'm going to do it soon. Let me know what you think. I want to attach... I mean, maybe a, even a bigger magnet, like my friend Carlos, or I, actually, I think my friend CJ has one. It's kind of like Carlos's, but it's bigger. It's like that big. I want to attach this thing to my jet ski and just ride around and see what we can pick up. So yeah, attaching a giant magnet to a boat or a jet ski. I don't have a boat, I have a jet ski. What do you think, Carlos? What? Attaching the magnet to the jet ski. Oh, that'd be awesome. I think we should do it. Uh, I think it would get, probably get a better hit that way, especially if we can watch a river. Oh, 100%. The only thing we have to worry about the logs that go across. We just gotta have a floaty system. So we know where it's at. Just get pulled off. Yeah. And you have to go slow. Yeah. So then if you fill a snag, it means that you're caught on something. Yeah, and also you don't want to disturb the manatees or something like that. Well, I mean, if anything, they'll be called a magnetee. Magnetee. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's the plan now? I don't know. It's all me. I think, are you done magnet fishing? Yes, I'm done magnet fishing. I think we should have fun, like just throw some things in your pool and go magnet fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it'll work in your pool. It'll, it'll work, yeah, it'll work. <laughs> bro, we are in the hood, bro. Yeah, we are. People are looking at us, and, <laughs> and they're like pointing at us, and, at us and we we about to get jumped for our cameras right now. Uh, I think it's time to. Nah, I don't care. I'm not scared. I'm not scared either. I'm not scared. My Prince Albert ain't either. <laughs> your Prince Albert ain't either. Uh. -uh. Oh wow. Oh there's more. Dang bro, you know just a good wetsuit is all you need. Yeah, as I told you. Yeah. I think Florida in the wintertime is the only place where you'll have your heater on in the morning and you'll have your AC on in the afternoon. Like it's hot. Took off my sweater. It, it was cold this morning. Yeah. I mean it was definitely but where I live. It was cold. Shorts already. <laughs> what a joke. Huh? Did you drop a hot one in your shorts? No. No. <laughs> See ya. Carlos has some bacon strips from that that sandwich earlier. It caused a hole in my pants. Started to start put one on the landing strip. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We were we were gonna get a little bit more string or rope for the the magnet. I don't think we're gonna do that. I think we we got tight. We're old. We're old. I'm gonna drop them off and we're gonna go to the house. I know a lot of you have been missing some of my daily vlogs. I'm gonna get back into it. I have a lot to tell you, but I'm gonna show you what I've been up to last couple of days. I did go on a trip recently. As you're aware, I, I did drop a couple of videos from like Las Vegas and I, I did spend a, a short time in California. So yeah, we'll we'll have to catch up. We're gonna be hanging out next weekend. Yeah. Carlos and I. Next weekend, what are we doing? We're gonna be each other's Valentine. <laughs> Only where I live you'll see a four-wheeler park that places oh look here comes another one well this is a side-by-side -side. how cool is that all right fam into the night uh this something that i've been working on i don't know maybe like three days this is our third day right today's our fourth day or third day i probably got maybe one more day of work and we did a lot of the hard work already are you ready to see it's my friend john by the way what's he's up been, man he's been helping me out remember when we were doing the wrap on my tesla which by the way i haven't released that video because it was a fail we we ended up wrapping it and i mean i i was so i don't know i was so bummed out about it i mean i, I love my tesla and i i didn't take things apart from it like i guess when you do these wraps i mean you got to take bumpers off you got to take headlights off things like that well that's what we did here if you're wondering where my tesla is, tesla if you're wondering where my tesla is i actually have it in a shop. The guy that's doing, he's doing a great job on it. I, and it, it's cool. I wanted him to do it. Uh, it is costing me a little bit of money, but I wanted it to be done right. And I am changing the color. The color that you've seen, I'm doing something completely different. I had gotten this color because I was originally gonna wrap my Tesla this color and I couldn't decide. But this color is amazing. It's called Satin Dark Gray. And I wanted to wrap my truck anyway. So here goes. Bam, G. Now my truck used to be, uh, actually it looks, kind of black right there but if you move around in the light you can see it's like a it's like a satin gray it almost looks like stainless steel 
if you will but we took everything apart on this we had the whole bumper off we had the headlights off we had this grill off i went ahead and i, I plasti dipped the gmc logo and i wanted to have some black accents still so i plasti dipped that we might leave that top part black just to kind of have some black and dark gray accents we had took this apart that's the only way to do a wrap successfully and if you're wondering yeah this is vinyl and see how like nice it looks is there an air bubble there yeah a little one but yeah we also took you know the door handles off i'm doing a chrome delete on them you can see the the vinyl right there but when i did my tesla we weren't able to i mean i didn't want to because it was a brand new car and i didn't want to take anything apart and, and ruin it but yeah the wrap ended up looking like crap when i was done i wasn't happy with it and yeah i lost some money but it was a it was a learning experience and the fact that we learned from that we were able to do a great job on this there's a couple little mess ups here and there not nothing horrible uh, we can see we took the moldings off here too. I'm waiting for, honestly, like I, we ran out. All we really have to do is that part right back there. That's that's it. The last piece that we have to do. We have the the side. Well, we have enough vinyl for the side and and the back tailgate, but we don't have enough for for that piece. But man, look how beautiful. If you look real close to, you can see it's almost like it's got like a metallic. Yeah, I didn't wear gloves when I was using plastic dip, but. Yeah, it has like like glitter in it. So cool. It looks really pretty in the sun. This is what I did with the moldings or what I'm doing with it. They used to be chrome. I, I used Plasti Dip on that and it looks nice. It's like a matte, matte finish. I'm still letting those dry. I think it looks amazing. Yeah. See, when, when we did the Tesla, like when you looked under here, you could see vinyl and like around the, around the curves in here, like, you know, and look, it's like perfectly clean like real clean install even here in the headlights you know because we took the headlights off i mean like all that is real clean and in here honestly that's the hardest part about vinyl wrapping is is making sure you have everything tucked in nice and neat and i mean you could you could see right there everything is really clean john did this right here he did a great job yeah, that thing went, that made me go crazy yeah i did like a carbon fiber piece right there and that was actually like a mess up. I didn't want to rewrap it. I'm like, you know what? Let's cut it in half and I'll put a piece of carbon fiber wrap over it. You know? So, I mean, if you look really good, you could kind of see the line right there for where I cut it in half. But other than that, I mean, it, it looks it looks pretty good. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a head turner. No one's got a GMC Sierra that looks like this. I can't wait to show you when it's completely done. I want to say it's about, I don't know, 75% done. 75-80%. Yeah, it's it's pretty much done. But when I have like all the moldings completely chrome deleted and it's gonna look nice. But anyways, just wanted to show you that. My garage, honestly, like you'll never see this. Like you're never gonna see this again because my garage never looks like this. And you're never gonna see my truck half butt like this too. I wish I would've showed, you know what? Let me show you. Cause I know there's gonna be some people out there that don't believe me. Like we really took this thing apart. That's what. That took I like a day. Because I was taking pictures of it through the whole process to send to friends. Yep. Let me see. My truck was really nice in, in all black, too. But there was a lot of imperfections in the black. And, I mean, I, I hit a couple trees a couple times. It's a, it's a truck. And I, I like having a truck. But, yeah, that's before. And you can see it looks nice. Um, that molding on the side there that's chrome, that was a pain in the arse to get off. It had, like, Gorilla Glue on it. Like, I, I don't know. But... Anyways, that is another side picture of what the truck used to look like. If you're wanting to maybe do like a, a paint job or a protective paint finish, I mean, some people will put wraps like this over their, their brand new car so then it preserves the paint. I mean, you can peel this right off. It will last like a good five years. Honestly, like I'm going to keep this on for as long as I probably have the car or truck or whatever because it was it was hard and we, we took a lot apart just to do it right. There's the front of the truck right there, how we... You know pretty much took it all apart honestly um if you're gonna wrap a car or a truck or maybe you're you're in the market to, to get a new car and maybe you're thinking about wrapping it get it in black black is the best color to wrap because if there's little imperfections it, you, you can't see it black looks nice especially when you go to open the door you know it doesn't look so bad having the inside black you know i mean like for example like my tesla it's it's white and if i like let's say i do like a blue wrap or whatever it's still gonna it's gonna show the inside white like black matches with everything and um you can see here this is where you know the, the line is for, for the wrap i mean you know you some people do wrap inside here but that's man think about how much of a pain in the butt that is 
to do that. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't want to wrap inside here. Screw that. That's take all day. They have so many seams and ugh. But yeah, black is a great color. I mean, look, it looks nice and clean. Very nice. And I'm not even a professional. Look, look how nice this looks. Looks like a professional did it. I cannot wait to get both these cars on the road. It's going to be great. Anyways, thank you so much for being a part of today's video. I'm going to start getting back into the, the daily uploads. I'm going to try. I'm not making any promises. But yeah, I got a lot going on. A lot of personal things. I'll get to it and, and kind of share some of those details with you when, when the time is right. Thanks again. Really love you. I love your support. Love all my friends out there. Love all my family. Um, I'm... I'm do for a fam mail episode too. I'm probably, instead of doing a live stream, I mean, I have so much fan mail inside. John and I started doing a video of it and then we, we got busy. And yeah, we got didn't, real busy with that Tesla. It was that, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> it was. And we didn't get to finish it. So yeah, I got a ton of mail. It's still sitting and actually, you know what? Well, let me show you. Cause um, just, just to give you an idea how much mail we have, okay? And a lot of you been asking like, they have sent me mail like, hey Omar, can you open up my mail yet? Well, here it is. It's all right there. And I do appreciate it very, very, very much. Like that's, that's so much love to me right there. So yeah, we're gonna do it when the time is right. Uh, a couple, couple days, but we'll get to it. I've just been very busy. I just came back from a trip. I was in Las Vegas, made some videos and uh, hung out with my friend Aiden. He met, met up with me there, was in Southern California and met up with my friend, Josanne Wacky Witch TV. And she had a client that had a haunted house, house that's very, very popular uh, across the street from the Charmed House, which is really nice uh, in, in LA. So yeah, that's gonna be an interesting video when I do release it coming soon. I might release it on this channel. I don't know. But anyways, thank you again. I love you so, so much. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.